driving up to the Renaissance Fair. Traffic's not too bad. We're going to hit that preferred parking for 25 bucks, and then we're going to see what everyone's wearing this year. Never been to the Renaissance Fair before? We're going to show you what you can wear, which is pretty much anything you want. All right, so I'm Richard from SoCal Review Plus. What's the best thing you've seen at Renaissance Fair today? Definitely by far is the Rogue's Reef stage. I don't know if you see this giant, beautiful stage behind you, but a ton of iconic staples here at the Red Beer come and perform. We've got our lovely poxy boggers, our merry wives of Windsor, come stop by the Pleasure Fair and do some awesome independent music. All right, let's get into it. Well, of course, you're going to see the traditional Renaissance Fair garb. There's a thing called steampunk that people are doing where they're mixing a little old school mechanical gear with their regular traditional costume. You got your queen and her people. You got this samurai uh, set of girls running through. Pretty cool. Princess Bride, all right. You have love in your eyes, It's a great carriage. They do give pendants to veterans when you buy your tickets and it's very service friendly. You can bring your service dog. A lot of the weekends have themes. This one was Rencon weekend, which was like a lot of uh, fantasy characters. Here's Star Wars Ren, a Tweedle, uh, Mando from the Mandalorian series. We got uh, Dark Crystal. I'm not sure who this knight is with this purple dragon. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Again, you could wear if you want. Here we got some video games, Assassin's Creed. I got Link and Zelda. Link's looking extra cool with his tunic. Nice shield, Link. Here's another Link. Uh, another arcade video game. I uh, got Chalazar in his pajamas. White Herb Dark Holiday. Uh, looks like Wario. Alice from Wonderland. Just, you can dress up as whatever you want. You don't even have to dress up. You can go casual. Here's a D&D Drow. Uh, here's Percy from Vox Machia. That's a cool one. It's a snail lady. Let's approach her. Looks like it's lunchtime. She looks like a vegetarian breed. Mostly eating weeds and odd ends off the ground. Very colorful shell. Looks like a female. Very docile. We don't want to threaten her. We're gonna move on so we don't interrupt her. What's the best part about going to Renaissance Fair? Getting drunk. Can you pour me a little free booze? And what else? Being practically naked. Yeah. What's the best thing you saw today? Probably you. Like a wrestling ring? He's my man pants! I can do anything! He is a right fine side. We're in the food court, we're gonna try out some good food and then we're gonna go around and see what everyone's wearing today. My lord, what are you eating today? Near the end of the fair, it's your last chance, gets your last minute shopping in, all kinds of things. I just don't want to carry them around all day, so I usually buy mine at the end. 
But if you need some cool gear to wear, jump on it. Then I'm gonna get the. Thank you. Tell me about the High Desert Goblin Club. It's a podcast. You should listen. It's the best. <laughs> Why are you still here? The movie's over. Oh, you're waiting for the end of scene credits because you think there's gonna be a continuing, no. Not in the budget today, uh-uh. But, wait a few months, there'll be an announcement for my third installment of my Deadpool series. So yeah, get excited, get ready. Things are about to get nasty. Woo! Anyways, I love you. This has been a Deadpool interview. I love you, my little uh, sunflowers. No, chimichangas, a lot better. Here you go.